Hello dear students of class 7. Today we are going to study the chapter 10 tables and forms in HTML. Now this is the part 1 of the chapter 10 and in this part we are going to study the topic creating a table. Now we have previously learned how to create tables in Microsoft Word but this time we are going to use the knowledge of HTML programming to create a table on our web page. So let us quickly begin with it. Now students, tables as you know arrange the data in form of rows and columns and provide an attractive way to represent the information. Now students, what, what does this mean? That, see, information can be represented in this textual form and the same information which is written over here in a textual form in the text form can also be represented in form of table okay now see over here for example in unit test exam this person Amit scored 10 marks in English 15 in Hindi and 16 marks in Hindi oh, sorry and 16 marks in maths now in unit test exam, Sumit scored 20 marks in English, 11 marks in Hindi and 15 marks in Maths and so on for different students. The data is written over here. Okay. This it's written in form of words, in form of paragraphs. You can say in form of paragraphs. Now to read this data, it will take a lot of time. Okay. But see the same data over here is written in form of a table which is the better way to represent the information obviously the table is a better better way to represent this information same information over here is represented in form of table and as you can see this table quickly tells you how to read this information in a very quick time okay and also it's say it is saving the space also okay and it is a better way to represent your information so that is what they are talking about so tables are created to present the information or the data in a comprehensive manner as we just saw in the example we had represented the information which was written in form of paragraphs in a comprehensive manner in form of table then make comparative analysis of data that means using the table we can compare the data we can compare the data of different you know records over here very easily we can compare the marks of ajay over here and ramesh over here very easily when we use uh, when we represent the information in form of table also display the information uh, display the information that is easier to read and quicker to evaluate that means if the information is presented in form of a table then it is very easy to evaluate the information that is written it is easy on the eyes it is it, is, it becomes very easy to read the information when it is represented in form of a table and this is what we are going to do in this particular chapter we are going to create the tables using the HTML language moving on now the next topic is creating a table in HTML so how do you create a table in HTML to create a table in HTML table tag is used okay so we are going to learn a new tag that is called as the table tag okay so this table tag is used to create a table in html as you can see this is an this is a web page over here this is a web page which is shown over here and using this html code okay a table has been a rough table has been created each table begins with the table tag and ends with the off table tag so as you can see in this particular code the code starts with the HTML tag, then the head tag, title, 
the title is given as create a table you can give any title over here the title tag is closed then the head tag is closed this is the body tag okay they have given body bg color as pink they have given top and uh, left margins okay we have already studied these things then after the body because the table will be represented inside the body of the web page after the body tag and inside this on body tag and off body tag we have written the table tag so this is the table tag which is written inside the after the body tag so see this table this table over here it begins with this table on tag and then it ends with this table off tag then you can define various attributes of the table inside this table tag so see all these whatever data is written over here these are the attributes of this table okay so these will be written inside the table tag how many rows are there how many columns are there all things are going to be represented within this table on and table off tag then a table displays data in tabular form on the screen we already know that that is in form of rows and columns so the we are going to create rows and columns each row in the table begins with the tr tag okay tr over here stands for table row tag okay and optionally ends with the tr of tag okay students so what we are going to do how we are going to create this table is that we are going to create individual rows now as you can see over here this is the first row this is the second row this is the third row and this is the fourth row so there are four rows in this table okay and each row over here what they are saying each row begins with the tr tag what the the tr stands for again table row okay so see after this table tag this is the on tr tag so see this is tr tag now inside every tr tag there is a table heading tag this this th stands for table heading okay so if you can see over here the rows must be inside the table tag the columns contains the cells each of which begins with the td tag td stands for table data td stands for table data and ends with the td of tag now td tag must always be present inside the row tag which is on the tr tag so see this is the tr on tag okay and over here this is the tr of tag so from here to here it is your first row this row from here to here now see this th stands for table heading th stands for table heading td the difference between td th and td is that this th is the heading of the table it is used for this heading for this 1 2 3 3 and this uh, name and this grade we are going to use td which is table data so this is the data inside the table on the other hand this serial number s number name and grade this is the table heading so see in the first row all these are table headings so they have started with table row tr tag inside the tr tag they have used for first th tag and inside the first table heading they have written s number and this s number is visible over here and then they have closed the first table heading this is the first table heading then they have used the second table heading the second table heading is name so second table heading tag then name is written inside this and then table second table heading is closed then the third table heading is grades so this th over here okay table heading then grades and then table heading closed and then after all the things are have been mentioned properly all the headings have been mentioned in the first row then what you need to do you need to close this tr 
tag which is the table row tag so this completes your first row let me show you this practically how it is done so we will quickly open the notepad and then we are going to type our html code the an html code always starts with the html tag then head tag inside the head tag we have the title tag now inside the title you can give any title for example i am writing creating first table and then i am going to close this title tag then after closing the title tag i am going to close the head tag over here and then i am going to open the body tag now inside the body tag i am just going to give bg color equal to pink so that the body color of my web page becomes pink okay let me just remove this and yes this has become pink now inside the body tag to create the table the first tag that we are going to use is the table tag on table tag and then after the table tag we are going to use what we are going to create the first row okay so we are going to use this tr tag now inside this tr tag the first tag that we are going to use is the table heading the first table heading as you know over there was serial number or s number now we need to close this table heading then the second table heading what was the second table heading it was name or oh, sorry first name and now i am going to close this second table heading and the third table heading was uh, grades and now i am going to close this third table heading also now the capital or the small over here doesn't matter as you know html is not a case sensitive language and now i am going to close this tr tag now this is optional but it is better if you close this okay now see students if i just close the table tag over here okay if i just close my table tag over here and then close my body and then if i close my html and if i save this file suppose first table dot html if i save this code and if i open the folder where i have saved it i just need to check where i have saved it okay if i open the folder where i have saved it uh it's saved over here this one see you can see over here the first row has been created now the uh, now i need to create the second row third row and fourth row as it is shown in this particular place over here so let us quickly create the second row okay so to create the second row we need to use the tr tag okay now now we are not going to use table heading now we are going to use td tag td stands for table data now the serial number of the first uh, student or the first entry is 1 so now we are going to close the td tag after writing 1 over here then the next table data is for the name what is the name of the student that is given over here it is bindu and the grade is a so we will just write b i n d u and then close this table data and for the third we are going to do the same thing we are going to again open a td uh, and then inside that 
we are going to write the value of that a and then close this td and after closing this td we will close the table row because this we are closing over here okay so three table data tags are used and this so let us quickly save this file and again open it and refresh and check what is the uh, output of this c the second row has is showing over here okay now in the same manner we can create the third row and fourth row just i'll change the data over here see how easily it is going to happen okay just let me check the names of the student yogesh and sakshi and And then I'm going to change the grade A plus and suppose B for this student. Okay. So now if I save this file and if I check the output again by refreshing, you can see the table has been successfully created. So this is how we can create the simple table in HTML by using the table tag. And then by using the, uh, by creating different rows, by using the tr tag, th tag, th, that's, uh, which is table heading, td, which is table data. Okay. So in this form, uh, in this way, you can create a simple table in HTML. Okay, students. Now, one thing to note over here is that. is that uh, this table that is created over here it does not have any borders okay it does not have any border this table does not give the real appearance of a table except the data is depicted in rows and columns to enhance its appearance we will be learning different attributes of the table tag okay so this attributes of the table tag like the border we will be studying in the upcoming lecture so, I want to end this lecture right now. You can create this simple table, okay, by using this code over here, okay, and uh, create your own table, okay. You can change the data inside this, okay. Just use the table tag, the tr tag, or the table row tag, the th tag, or the table heading tag, and the td tag, or the table data tag by using these three tags you can create uh, these four tags you can create a simple table in html and you can practice the same thing i hope you will be practicing this okay and uh, you will be getting a further understanding of attributes of the table tag in the upcoming lecture so with this, I want to put an end to this lecture. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions or doubts, you can email me at this email ID. Okay. And or you can also comment on the YouTube video section if you have any doubts. With this, I want to put an end to this lecture. Thanks for listening. Take care of yourself and be well.